people I've met for the first time face to face today. And I've been working with them off and on over the I work with people in seven times. So but anyway, so um, we're going to have uh, Jim Kimball start with a, with a prayer, and then we're going to have some people come forward, and you're going to have an opportunity to ask these experts almost any question that you would like <laughs> to. So, Jim Kimball. Uh, our provost, for those of you who don't know that that's me, I would suspect of you. Just got through accreditation yesterday, and he's here this morning. Yeah. 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 Last night, I told you I slept the sleep of the just. <laughs> As part of an institution that's still ongoing, an ongoing concern. Uh, okay, Liz has really told me I can only have five minutes. I'm, uh, I'm uh, thinking about uh, setting myself a timer. Uh, here I go. Five minutes. I'm going to make it four. There we go. Uh, anyway, uh, a provost, if you don't know, provost is a, um, uh, a title. I'm over everything academic. If, if we were in the business world, I would be the chief operations officer. So uh, uh, the vice president for uh, the Vice President for Advancement is in charge of bringing in money and bringing in students. The Chief Financial Officer is in charge of uh, taking care of all of our finances and all of our facilities. And I'm in charge of, loosely speaking, uh, all the, just everything about the student experience once they're here, from the time they're admitted to when I get to shake their hand at commencement. So in other schools, or depending on the situation, people might uh, in my role, have the title Vice President for Academic Affairs, um, or um, or the older title is Dean, the Academic Dean. So if you ever made the Dean's List, I'm the Dean. And uh, so it's really, I love my job. I'm very grateful for you guys. So uh, um, part of my welcome is to just say thank you. Uh, um, uh, on behalf of the President, the Administration, and the faculty, and everybody, thank you so much for the, what you do and for our students. So I just have a moment here for a thought. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says this, or 8, 9, and 10, I'm going to read. Uh, I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says, God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for his salvation. It is a gift from God. This is a, ver a verse that lots of people have memorized in their life in Sunday school or whatever. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast. But then the next verse says this, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us to do long ago. And uh, uh, the image here is of a, uh, the image here is of a, oh, like a guitar maker, a violin maker, someone who's taking a block of wood and cutting it and twisting it and bending it and doing all these things to create a masterpiece to create something beautiful that can, uh, that can accomplish, that can do work that was intended by God from long ago. And, and, uh, and that is the process we are in. I mean, there's a few foundational verses that I think about that, that ground me in what, what the heck is it we do here in trying to provide an education for people. And one of the things that we do is to try to, try to help, be, help God in his work of shaping people for good work that he's intended them to do, uh, uh, that he has planned for them way in advance. And I often ask students, I say, um, I say do you believe that God, uh, how many, uh, in a group of students, I'll say, how many of you believe that God could cause there to be a president of the United States without a who doesn't have a, a college education? And they all raise their hand, because God can do anything, right? Yes, God could cause that to happen. And then I say, how many of you think that in your lifetime, God will cause there to be a president of the United States who does not have a college education? And the answer is, nah, probably not. Because God uses the culture and the world that we live in. So the education that we provide people, it, it hugely expands the, the places in the world where they can go to make a difference for God's kingdom. It hugely expands the places where they are able to make a difference, where they are able to have an impact, and, and, where, and where their lives can, be, uh, can, can have an expression of God's love. And so we are in that process. We are the process that God uses to take these blocks of wood 
into, uh, and turn them into beautiful violins who are able to, to do amazing things that he has planned way in advance. So uh, my watch is telling me I'm done. And, and, uh, but I really hope in the work you do, because sometimes, sometimes the day in and day out of teaching is, can really be uh, not a negative grind, but a grind. It's just hard work. It's hard work. We'll be talking about, I see we're talking a little bit about plagiarism. It's hard work when you get a student that plagiarizes and you have to deal with that. It's hard work when a student isn't understanding. And it's hard work to try to explain things a different way. It's, it's hard, hard work. But the, the ultimate outcome is students who are able, who, who will be totally different than if, if they hadn't gone through that process with you. Uh, they, they will be totally different. They will, they, a, a whole world of possibility will open up to them because of the shaping and forming that you had uh, in their lives. So let me pray for us in our day. Lord, thank you so much for, um, for the meaningful work we get to do. Uh, it's, it's very, uh, we get to be a part of your process of shaping people's lives, and, and we're grateful for that amazing opportunity. I pray that today will be a fun day. Uh, thanks for, to, for Liz and everybody for all the work that they put into this. I pray it will be a fun day, but a real day of learning and growth in our ability to be effective in this amazing work that you've called us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys.